seriously my worst nightmare. Oh, we need to find the leak, that's it. We need to find a hole where it's coming in. <laughs> It's not where Nanji's meant to be. Sleep in bed. What happens next is very confronting, and this next bit of footage is pretty raw. Uh, but this is what happened. Josh! Josh! Where's my wheel? Turn the engine on! I've made it on! Brother! Oh my god! Go, Josh! <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Fuck! We're gonna break up. No, we're not gonna break up, Nita. We are solid as fuck. We're on the queue. Alright? 
we are on a rock, we are on the reef. Net Yosh is a, we are just, we are smashing up upon the rocks. The boat's just smashing. We want a mooring, you know? Out. Come on, wind. Come on, Neji. Come on, Yosh is just ramming the motor. Um, that's all we can do at the moment. I don't know what else to do. I've done a few calls on the radio, but no one's answered. Just, we just need to get off this. I hate to be pessimistic, but I don't think we're going anywhere. I think we, uh, we're on the rocks. We, I don't think we're going anywhere. Yosh is in the tender now. We've got it off the bow finally, and he's trying to pull the boat. But like, I'm, when I look over the side, there's this reef everywhere. Any movement? Yeah? Yoshi's tendering on the side and I've got, I'm, I'm driving forwards and uh, turning the wheel trying to get Nancy through this minefield of grief but uh, there's like six other boats, oh, maybe five other boats here. I've been on the radio all night, no one's answering. They must be all asleep or not have their radios on. But yeah, I don't really know what else we can do. There's no water in the bilge yet, which is awesome. So the hull is still intact. I don't know. How are we going to get off this? The sound of Nanji crunching on the reef was so loud and so horrendous. It sounded like every single bash was a hole in the boat. Like it was really violent. Was like the, to feel the whole boat jar and shutter and like the the thunder noise that that was given off during it. Oh, it was what like dream nightmares are made of. Yeah, and like I didn't know how strong the boat is. I don't know how much of a bashing you know fiberglass can take. And so it just sounded awful. And you know, you just think of those boats that are get holes and, and they're just up on the reef. And you think, I, I thought that one punch on a reef would put a hole in the boat. I knew Nancy <laughs> was built really solid and I was confident she was up for the task. But hearing those thuds, uh, it was we, it was really bad. And then all those sirens and alarms that were going off, it was like, it was just. It we was horrific. We should have turned them off. Yeah, it didn't even, didn't even occur. We should turn them off. Yeah. Seriously, my worst nightmare. We need to find a leak, that's it. We need to find a hole where it's coming in. It's gotta be on poor side because we're sitting on poor. It's, it's just gonna keep straight. getting worse, like. No, no we, need to, we need to find the hole, that's it. We need to stop the water from coming in. That's the biggest problem at the moment. Yes. Yeah. 
it's gotta be there, eh? Yeah, the hole's compressed fully. Oh, I'm smashing some putty into it. We really want to keep the engine dry, so I'm just bailing out the water and we're going to try and fix up this hole here. It is low tide, so we're hoping that there's going to be enough water on the reef to be able to float us again. Um, so we can at least get off this reef and if everything cross hey, like, please. Pulling up the floor. The tide's only keeping on dropping, so we can see where we compressed on the reef here. And I'm guessing that's where the main leak is. But we, we need to pull up this whole floor so we can see here. And you get under that, under that tank. I think this is where we're sitting though. The, water, the leak's yeah. definitely in this area, so. Yep. We've got to try to rip up this floor. And it's big uh, full moon as well, so big tides. We've got another hour of tide dropping. We got this bit of floor up and it doesn't seem to be any damage to the hull um, in this area either, so all good. And I've uh, emptied the bilges out so we have a gauge of where the water's coming from and nothing is filling up again, so I think that might be the only hole that we have. Everything crossed. If we get off of this, we're going to be some lucky bastards, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely... I don't know about definitely, but... Maybe, do you want to check pull out that we'll water bladder? Yeah, I've ripped all that bladder out. That's fine. There's nothing under that there. And we're sitting on that rib as well. That's like that structural rib, so it's kind of compressing around it. Yeah. What's the time? We've probably got five. So we've got another hour until low tide. So the water's still dropping. Yeah, we, we got time to make this dry and then patch it up. Did you patch that hole up? Yeah, I've I've smashed some epoxy on it, like just some putty and that. But it's because the hole's still compressing on the reef. It's. Can you wrap a tarp underneath it? Is that you know how they suck into the hole? Yeah. Tarp? Yeah. We get one of them ready. We're gonna get off. We just gotta make sure that this is the only leak. Then we're gonna to have to get somewhere to pull out. At least the best bit about it, it doesn't look like it. Like it's not, it's not fucking the, the rib, like the structural. It's just the the hull. It's just the hull. It's just the. But like I can see the like the woodwork is obviously fucking broken there. But we should be able to grind it all back and just. I guess if you just glass the shit out of it all. I guess I can get the epoxy and fiberglass and everything out ready. So we can put putty over it and then try to glass it. Hopefully it's just that area. There was a lot of bouncing going on. Yeah, the bottom of the queue was probably going to look fucking horrid. But that's what would have been hitting, not the sides. It's only the sides here that's hit when we've gone over. You're just getting clean. I can see where Benita missed painting. Oh, shut up! Is there any way we could seal that? What's up? Just seal this compartment off, like, I don't know. No, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're thinking though, like. Yeah, that's if, that's a big soft patch. As soon as we come off of that, it's just gonna start. It's like flat, yeah, you know. Yeah, think water would start coming yeah, in. Yeah, that's like a soft spot. So I think we need to reinforce it somehow. Like if we glass it all up, but like the shape of the hole is gonna change there. So I guess it's all kind of about timing. Like we can't glass it in now 
and then the as we come up. What's wrong with glassing it in now? I guess like the the hull's pro this, the hull's not going to push back out again when we come off, is it? It's going to stay this shape. Yeah. So if you glass so it, if we smash epoxy all over it, just to strengthen the shape that it is, like we just got to stop water coming in. We don't need to strengthen it. We just got to stop water. Yeah, coming that's in. what I mean. Like like so that like it seals it up. So like you know, there's probably cracks. Like, like I don't know. There's a crack there. Yeah, that glass has come up. Yeah, all right, well, I guess, yeah, let's do that. Because the epoxy is going to take a while to set anyway. What kind of cloth are you using? <laughs> so, I think there might be another water leak around oh, this area. You can't really see, but because it keeps getting a little bit of water in here. So we're just going to fix one leak at a time. Yosh is just trying to strengthen the area so that when we do come off of it, that fiberglass that's been damaged isn't, if it does break away or, um, yeah, it's just trying to strengthen the area. It's an absolute nightmare scene on the outside. Our router is fucking, our router is haggard. We've smashed off so much at the back end of the rudder. It's an absolute nightmare. On the bright side, I suppose, at least we're, Nanji seems to be sitting pretty upright, so we're not heeling right over on the side. Oh, shit. Man, I love that rudder, eh?
sun's starting to come up and with the sun the water's starting to rise as well which is how we're going to get out of here we're literally like 20 meters away this is fucking can't believe it eh she's got a few battle wounds on the outside from a bit of inspection but going through all the hole I can't see any real cracks that are coming through so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see when the water comes up and we start floating if we float we've glassed up that patch and there's a crack and stuff but like from the outside there's you can see more scars so but Nanji's much more thicker glass on the inside than she's on the out but I can only just keep looking in the hole I suppose and wait to see if anything comes out if anything comes in should I say how you going boss that's the last of it eh yeah yeah I want to get all the stuff all of our stuff off of Nanji just in case like I don't know how if, if, if you know if we do start taking on water I don't know how quickly it would happen and I just want to make sure we can we've got everything all of our belongings in a safe place yeah so I don't know I don't know if those yachties are all going to sail off today you know so maybe it, we should uh. go there's not enough water to get over there anyway. Oh, now I'm not leaving Nanji. Oh, she's got a few battle wounds on the outside, but I'm not seeing anything protruding. And through the hull, all through here, she's solid, you know? So, just need that glass to kick off before any water starts getting too high. I'm not ready for the stress that's gonna come. Because, like, I think the easy part is over. This next bit is going to be the hard bit. Yeah. That's not where Nanji's meant to be. Morning's at Rock Knock, eh? Should have known better. Oh, man. How's the problem? Prop sweet. The rudder's pretty banged up. Can you still see with it? Yeah, yeah. Looks like Nanji gave some back. And then she put up a fight. We wedged in the front there. How's that side look? No, this side's fine, eh? This side's sweet. Yeah, we just literally got pushed side on into it. We couldn't go anywhere. Fuck.
The lads brought out a massive submersible pump, and I think this was pretty much one of the main things that did save Nanji. So I wired that up onto onto the house batteries, and that stemmed the flow of water that was coming in. So there was more going out than there was coming in. Just having those extra hands and eyes that these lads took over, and they were happy and smiling, and it really just changed the mood of things. We were quite somber and been away for quite a few hours at this stage. And then once Nanji floated, because it was so shallow, we only. There's only like a hundred mil between the bottom of the keel and the sand and so just having those couple of lads in the water to, to guide us where to go. Benita was in the tender pushing the bow and I was uh, I was operating and okay. steering. Um, but yeah, just having those tight lads to show us where to go. The only way we got into deep water. We had the option of beaching Nanji, but we decided that only had five litres of epoxy on board and it was just going to be more of a hassle. Uh, so we just monitored everything for like 10 minutes and the bilge pump was operating well. Um, so we so we literally just decided that that's it. We're going we're gonna to try to get to Krabby. Benita's an absolute champion the way she's dealt with this. She's down there. She was bailing and bailing all morning, all night last night. Trying to, well, I was trying to stem these leaks and stop the water from coming in. Benita's just been bailing. Right, so round it off what's going down. We managed to get off of the reef this morning at like know, about 9-ish, I think. High tide was 9 o'clock. Um, so, so much big thanks to the Thailand boys. They were into it and they knew what they were going. They knew what they were doing. And, yeah, by that stage, we've already been awake for like six, seven hours, so we wasn't really feeling too good. Gonna be delirious and bad decision making was probably gonna happen. Um, got this bilge pump with a hose over, overboard. Our bilge pump is under the motor, uh, our main big one. Um, lucky taking the good out of the bad, at least it happened forward of the boat and where we were stuck we were wedged in reef and so the keel kind of held us upright um, and it's only where we've leant over on the reef a bit where we've got these three I can see when I was diving on it three big patches that will have to be fixed up um, but yeah lucky we got this pump off the boys like they did that little bit of fiberglass and it's Pretty well stemmed that leak, that was the worst one I think. Um, yeah, now we we opted to motor, we're just doing four knots, there's a bit of wind but I just don't want to sail, I don't want to pump the bow of Angie too much. Um, and also if I figure this is working, I don't want to mess around with too much since this is working at the moment. So we're motoring pretty close to land to try to stop this offshore breeze from building up too much fetch and too much chop. It was pretty smooth. Um, here we are. From Rocknock Islands, it's like 50 miles to Krabby and Port Tocola back into the marina. Uh, we decided to go there because it's the closest and we've been there and we know what we're going to get ourselves in for. Last thing we need is to go to say Boat Lagoon in Phuket and don't know anything about the channel, how they lift us, the pen and all that sort of stuff. Um, I just figured we'll go to Tocola because we know they'll have the space and, they'll, and the time and they'll be able to pull us out. Um, and I can just ring them because they have their phone number. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I've managed to have like a 20 minute nap just then. Benita's down trying to have a sleep now, but we just. We can't exactly sleep, it's just too much going on in the head. So, I don't know, just touch wood, just hoping everything's okay. Like, I don't think it's too bad, I think it's just the hull. I don't think it's the ribs of the boat or any structurally stuff. Because Nanji stayed upright, we didn't roll right over. If we rolled right over, it would just be a nightmare. We'd have holes all through the side of the boat and everything. So at least Nanji stayed pretty upright. Um, we'll just have to inspect the keel and everything when we're out. Um, yeah, we've got 20 plus miles left to go. We'll get to Tocola in the dark, but uh, the legend's there. 
they're going to haul us out, they'll have a team standing by waiting there and pluck us out, which is perfect. Is yeah, I don't want to spend another night awake. Just need that peace of mind now to get out of the water. We're just going to get there. We're halfway there, I guess, so we're just going to get there. There. On the plus side, it's barbecue night at the marina tonight. Yeah. Uh, we're never picking up a mooring again. No, nah, mooring's gone. <laughs> we're 
Good riddance. that. <laughs> <laughs> For us choosing to sail around the world, we don't expect people to help us. We want to go to remote locations where there is no one around, and when things go wrong, we need to be 100% self-sufficient to be able to get ourselves out of that situation. It was just more shocking the fact that there was people there and they chose to look the other way. But since then, the sailing community has really, really uh, welcomed us with open arms. They've sent so much nice stuff, and we've received so many nice emails and contributions and support. New patrons from people that want to wanted to see us succeed and help us get Nancy back in the water. So we have to say a massive thank you to all of those people yeah. that really helped keep our heads high while we're in the boatyard smashing it out to get Nancy floating again. Yeah, we had lots of um, other sailors that had come up to us and told us about their experiences or wrote to us about their experiences, which was really, really nice. So thank you guys so much. We appreciate everything. So thanks, Legends. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Click that notification bell so you know when things are up. Yeah, our next episode, we are in the boatyard. We show you all the damage that happened to Nanji, and uh, we get started on the boat work. There's a bit of red tape going on as well, as you can imagine. So it's uh, pretty awesome episodes coming up, guys. So please subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time. See you next time. Bye.